you guys. Today is finally the day. I am going to be releasing my capsule collection series. I want to let you guys know how this is going to work. It's working in tandem with Patreon and this Facebook group. All of this stuff is part of a bigger picture that I've been envisioning for quite some time. And you guys have definitely been like, okay, we get it. Stop banging makeup. What do we do now? This is what you're going to do now. We are going to curate our very own capsule collections every single quarter. Or you don't have to change it ever again. You can just interchange the key pieces to suit your needs for that particular spread of time. But the idea is to take these bigger collections we have. So to put this in perspective, I'm gonna bring this up all the time because I created that video for a reason. If you're on my one to five scale that I created, I will leave a link to that down below. This is probably gonna apply more to my three, fours, and fives because my ones and twos are not changing their makeup game up at all. Once again, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, check the down bar. But this is definitely for three, fours, and fives. People who have amassed a sizable collection, and if you're anything like me, you're kind of tired of just looking at it and not using it to its full potential. The good news here is that you can make your capsule as big or as small as you want. You can take things in and out of it as often as you want to. For me personally, for demonstrative purposes, I'm going to have a capsule collection for September. We're gonna call this my baseline capsule collection. It's gonna be the stuff that year round I'm going to have. But during certain times of the year, so for example, we're coming up on the holiday months, I'm gonna change some things out because I know that once it gets cooler outside, I'm gonna to wanna to throw in maybe some burgundy eyeshadow or a deep, deep vampy lip. Or for the holidays, I'm gonna want silver and gold glitter. Like I feel personally, and this is not set in stone anywhere, do what you want, my makeup tastes and preferences change with the seasons, much like my clothing choices do. And speaking of clothing, this was very inspired by my recent wardrobe overhaul I've talked to you guys about before. I've been buying a new wardrobe this year, and that sounds really like blase and what's the big deal, but it's not that easy, really not that easy to do, especially when you're trying to dress for a new phase in your life, for a new, new energy in your life, and I've learned a lot about capsule collections, and though I don't think that's exactly what I'm aiming for, it just kind of showed me the connection between makeup and fashion. You know, fashion, the idea is you start with the basics. You have the things that go with everything, and then that's, that's what you spend your money on because you're using it all the time. And then you spend a little less money on the trendy pieces, the things that probably aren't gonna stand the test of time or the things that you're not gonna wear consistently. So like I said, in this video, I'll be showing you my baseline capsule collection. It might be much, much bigger than yours, but once again, I am a content creator, so I am putting makeup on for camera often. Let's get into the challenge here. The challenge for me is gonna be that on camera, as much as possible, whether I'm applying makeup on camera or I'm just sitting on camera wearing makeup, I'm going to only use what I have in that capsule collection for September. Once again, it's gonna change in October. I'll have a new video come out with that. Um, but for now, it's just the baseline. And it's really the stuff I use all the time. You guys will send me messages or comments and be like, what eyeshadow is that? What lipstick is that? It's literally the same stuff over and over and over again. We spend so much makeup on money because it looks different in the palette or in the packaging, but once it's actually down to brass tacks and on the face, it looks the same. So I'm just gonna cut away, flip over to me, just showing you the capsule collection and then I'll be back. All right guys, this is kind of the foundation of the capsule, but it's definitely not everything. This will be kind of my baseline go-to all seasons. As I mentioned, I am definitely gonna switch this out a little bit for the October and November and December months because that's when it gets to be kind of festive and holiday time. And this once again is more everyday go-to look centered. Now, when I say I'm gonna switch things out, I do not mean that I'm gonna remove a lot of the things. Um, really the only things that are gonna get moved out will be lips and eyes. Even through setting this up and getting it together, I realized that the majority of the products that I have, I use over and over and over again and therefore just do not need a lot of. You guys have heard me talk a lot about that in the past, like with things 
such as bronzers, contours, blushes, foundations. I'm just not gonna switch that up too much, but let me stop talking and get right into it. I'm gonna start off with skin. So I'm gonna start with primers or moisturizing agents as it were. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. You guys know I love this stuff. I use this to moisturize my skin before makeup. I don't use it as a moisturizer for the day to day, like if I'm not wearing makeup, but this is beautiful underneath makeup, so I prefer it for that. For kind of a pore minimizing or mattifying agent, I have the MAC Prep and Prime Skin Refine Zone. I've been using this a lot this year and it does the job, although I'm not the biggest believer in pore minimizing primers at all. I just feel like it does help kind of mattify a little bit, should I find that I'm getting oily throughout the day. And then I guess you could call this a primer. I don't know that I call it a primer simply because I use it for many things. I mix this in with my foundation. I put it on top of my foundation. On days where I'm wearing no makeup, I will just spot conceal and use this as foundation. But um, this is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. So moving on to foundations, it's this row right here in the front. I didn't wanna focus so much on any particular type of brand for this incarnation of the capsule wardrobe. I decided to go more for things that I reach for all the time or basically just have kind of a formula and a finish for every occasion. So as far as that's concerned, I wanted something very sheer and lightweight. So I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury Light Wonder and the MAC Face and Body. If I had this in my correct color, I definitely wouldn't use two. I'm just using two because this is too yellow and this is a little bit more neutral. So this will be my lightweight, sheer kind of foundation. This is kind of my mixer foundation. I do love the finish of it a lot, but when I tell you guys I'm obsessed with this foundation, everyone always tells me to try out the Neutrogena Healthy Skin or the Physician's Formula. Now, while I do, do love the formulation of this, it's actually the color that has me so obsessed. It is extremely neutral. So if a foundation is too yellow for me, I just put a little bit of this in there and it just, it makes it exactly the shade I need it. So this is the La Mer Soft Fluid. It's almost gone. I'm gonna have to order another bottle soon, but that's always in my rotation of a foundation I'm never without. This is the Hourglass um, Vanish Stick Foundation. I wanted something full coverage. Actually, both of these are full coverage. Full coverage foundations I use to mix with other things. I, I mean, I mix everything. I don't ever wear just one foundation, but this is as close to full coverage as I'm gonna get. I don't like a matte full coverage. It's just not my thing. I just, I don't know. If you're very oily, I understand why you might enjoy it, but for me, not my gig. These just happen to be my two favorite. And the reason I have two instead of one is I'm just gonna run out of this one soon. And also, once again, this one I find works a little better when I'm feeling more oily. This one's better when I'm feeling more dry. And this is kind of just the go-to, no muss, no fuss, just perfect foundation for me. But once again, since I am a mixer, they're all gonna get mixed together all the time. You absolutely do not need this many foundations, but I do makeup on YouTube, on Instagram, and in real life. So this is kind of why I have as many as I do. Pair this down to what you'll actually use. The point of the capsule collection is to get it down to the things that you can pull for over and over again and get the most use out of. I know this still seems like a lot, but you have to keep in mind how much I have. So check out my video on my makeup collection to see what I have gotten this down to. This is very minimal compared to that. For concealer, these are two NARS concealers and the Becca Backlight Priming Filter Concealer, something or the other. I use this to carve up my brows and spot conceal. I use this for under eye darkness. And then my actual concealer, like under my eyes, I just use the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. For brows, I have the IT Cosmetics Brow Powder and Transforming Taupe. I have the Benefit Give Me Brow in number three. I have the Urban Decay Brow Blade in Neutral Nana, and I also have the Brow Endowed from Urban Decay in Neutral Nana as well. I'm kind of speeding through some of the stuff because I don't feel like the foundation basics are the most crucial part, but I want you to know what I'm using so when you check me on Instagram or YouTube, if you see anything other than this stuff listed or tagged, you'll know that I went outside of the capsule. I'll probably disclose that if I decide to do that at all, but that's the plan anyway. So the cute little setup is done now, <laughs> so we're just gonna keep it real at this point. For powder, I have the Hourglass Veil. You guys know it's like the only loose powder I used to set my entire face. This is the Fenty Lavender Pro Filter Powder. I almost considered not putting this in here because I don't use it very much, but it is good if I feel like my concealer is too dark that day just to brighten it up a little bit. 
And of course, my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish. For contour, I'm just going to be using my Fenty Matchsticks and also my Charlotte Tilbury Filmstar Bronze and Glow. I've been using this pretty much exclusively for the past two years. I'm about to open my third or fourth compact of this. I love it. For bronzer, I'm going to be using my trusty Luminous, what's this called? Luminous Bronze Light from Hourglass. I love this stuff. And the secondary bronzer is going to be the Becca Capri Coast. I'm trying to pull for things that I'm almost done using. Like I might can pan this soon if I really put my mind to it. So that's two bronzers. Once again, I want you guys to pay attention to this because even though I have a lot of complexion stuff, I mean, it, it is a lot, but I never change these things out. The things that will get changed out are cheeks, lips, and eyes. But even still only having two bronzers, it's more than enough to get the job done. You don't need 20 friggin' bronzers. For blush, I have two Charlotte Tilbury blushes. This is the color Ecstasy, and this is the color First Love. First Love is more neutral, kind of subdued and ecstasy is a little bit more vibrant. I can mix these together, wear them on their own. Nobody notices when you change your blush. <laughs> I think that's why blush doesn't have like a huge moment with releases very often. We don't see big blush pushes because it just looks, it kind of looks the same, honestly, on everybody. So for mascara, Charlotte Tilbury Full Fat Lashes. Got this in PR, absolutely love it. Eyeliner will be Charlotte Tilbury The Feline Flick, PR as well, love it. I use this bottom mascara. This is the Clinique bottom mascara. And I also use the Pixi one when I run out. Either one is totally interchangeable to me. And I'm only gonna have one pencil eyeliner and that is Buxom Call Me. I really don't use pencil eyeliner that much anymore, but if I do, it is black. Oh, lastly for complexion, I have the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Dim Light. You guys know I love these finishing powders. So this is the only one I'm going to use in my basic kind of foundational collection. For eyes, I am going to be using the OG Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette. I chose this one because I'm pretty sure most of you guys have it, but it's a good array of neutrals and tones that I can bust out quick looks with, which once again is kind of the point for this particular version of the capsule collection. It's my go-to, it's my year round. So something like this is absolutely ideal for that situation. And then this actually isn't mandatory at all, I'm not gonna lie. You could just use something like the Jaclyn Hill palette and it would get the job done as well. This is the Kristen Dominique Latte palette and I use this one all the time. It's another quick bust out a few easy looks sort of situation, but mostly it's cause I love the center color so much. And I know that everyone goes nuts over this palette, talks about how great it is, but I just feel like some of the shades just, they're not, amazing all of these are amazing i love the way they work together i love them on their own i just always pull for something in here every time i do my makeup so it's definitely going in the regular degular um base collection of my capsule and this i'm putting in here just because i've been pulling for it a lot lately and i know i'm gonna wear it a lot so i figured it needs to go in this video this is the tom ford coco mirage eyeshadow palette. There's only four colors in here, but I use this all the time, especially in my real life when I'm just getting ready to go. So I will have a tutorial of like my go-to look. It's the one you guys keep asking for. I do it pretty much exclusively with this palette. So that is coming, but I needed to put it in here just so it can be accounted for. And only two loose eyeshadows. This is NARS Coconut Grove. You guys know I use it all the time in place of black. It's a great, great product. You'll notice that almost all these have been hit pan on a little bit or I'm running out of. I really took the time to make sure that the stuff I put in this capsule collection were things that I love. And this is how I'm learning exactly how useless the remainder of my collection is because this is all I ever want to use. And then this is the Hourglass Scattered Light Glitter Eyeshadow in the color Reflect. I just wanted a little something glittery, sparkly to put on top of an eyeshadow if I was feeling like it. I don't pull for this all the time, but you'll see, especially in the holiday versions of this, things like glitters, pigments, all that stuff comes in for the holidays. But having something like this, a product like this that can transform your existing makeup collection in a little bit of ways, is super beneficial and helpful. So I do like things like this, thought I would throw it in. Lips are gonna be super chill. This is gonna be my attempt to show you how pointless it is to have a million nude lips because I wear the same nude lip combo in almost every video. And you guys ask me in every video what it is. I don't, I don't know, I don't even think it's anything special, but it's the same shit. So 
This is Pixi Matte Beige, Matte Beige Liquid Lipstick. I use it all the time, very affordable. This is the Charlotte Silbury Pillow Talk Lipstick. I've been using this a lot since I got it in PR. I love this one. It's really nice, but not like wipe you out, wash you out nude. For gloss, I'm just going to use um, Buxom Bellini Lip Gloss if I'm doing a nude lip or dose of colors over the top because there's really no color to it. It's just like a sparkle and a gloss, so it won't transform anything too much. And the only lip liner I'm holding on to is Charlotte Silbury Iconic Nude. I'm gonna have to buy some more of that soon. And then because I love red lipstick, I have to have a red lip, I'm gonna do Juvia's Place Afrique, and I'm also gonna do MAC Cherry Lip Liner, also running low on that, so. I'm also gonna have Lit Glitter Glue in here because I feel like something like this, once again, transforms your existing collection. You can use this to apply your more foiled or shimmery eyeshadows on top of, and it just makes them a little more pigmented, a little bit more rich, a little bit more sparkly. So this is a good thing to have on hand. I'm only gonna have two highlighters. Honestly, I would only have one, but it turns out I think this thing is discontinued, which is a big shame. This is the Catrice Champagne Campaign Highlight Highlighting Powder. It's my favorite highlighter for like two years. I just love it, but apparently they're done making them. So I didn't want to make this the only thing I have in here in case you just wanted to play along at home. I had dug through all my highlighters and realized how much I just don't care about them. But if I had to pick, I guess I'm going to go with Champagne Pop from Becca because I don't know. Why not? It's fine. So yeah, that is this month's capsule makeup collection. Once again, I know it seems like a lot, but you have to keep in mind that the complexion stuff isn't the goal. You need to find complexion stuff that you can use over and over again and works for you. The things that you need to worry about spending your money on that I feel like we get sucked into are lips, and eyes. That's the stuff that we see a lot of. New lipstick launches, new lip gloss launches, new eyeshadow palettes all the time. But you're really just not letting your collection flex its muscles, stretch its legs enough. And we're really gonna see how much we can get out of just using this. Obviously adjust as you see fit for your actual lifestyle and needs. But once again, I do YouTube and Instagram, so I tend to have a little bit more of a collection anyway. Patreon will have dupes and kind of recommendations based on what I have for people that have different lifestyles. We'll, we'll be using that one through five system I developed. So if you're not a patron, um, now might be a good time to be one. If not, you'll still see a lot of capsule related content anyway. That's just an extra bonus added benefit of being in the Patreon page. So yeah, this is, uh, this is it. Hope you guys enjoyed this part. Let's get back to real Whitney. All right guys, to wrap this up, I showed you my capsule collection for September. Once again, this is the baseline. I will link this video to every other capsule collection video that comes out so that whether you discovered me a week ago or two years ago, you know what I'm working with on my baseline. And then as I said, we'll adjust. There'll be a holiday one. There'll be a spring one, spring and summer. Um, I'm really excited about this. And one of the main benefits and challenges to doing something like this together is that we can really hang out and get inspiration from each other about how to dupe our favorite products with our existing things or different techniques we're trying out or different looks we've never tried to throw together before. And for that, I implore you to come hang out on my new Facebook group. The Facebook group and the Patreon and all this stuff is all going together. I'm launching a podcast, which will be called War Paint, so everything has that vibe. You know how everybody else has like a fan name? You guys are my warriors. I decided it's really the only thing that worked. It's kind of cheesy, but I feel like it fits because Whitney, Warriors, War Paint. You feel me, dog? I know you do. Come hang out on the Facebook group. We're definitely gonna be sharing lots of inspiration. One of my goals is to create a document, either a PDF or a spreadsheet where I list everything like no brands, just the general kind of checklist for a capsule collection. And then you'll just have that and do whatever you want to do. It's going to be so much fun. Patreon. Um, by the time this video goes up, Patreon will be live. And over there, I'm going to have an in-depth capsule collection exam, examination. We're going to look really in-depth at my capsule collection, 
what I have and I will go through my massive collection and try to find dupes and make suggestions for you based on either your budget or maybe based on what you have at your disposal. We'll really deep dive into it. It's gonna be much longer than this video. And then as I said before, the live stream over there this month, we will hang out and talk all things capsule. So I am so excited for September, you guys. If this video was really long, I hope it was at least enjoyable for you. Uh, make sure you check the down bar for links to all my social media platforms. And I will catch you in the next one.